And, of course, uh, Mark, we always talk about uh, different legal topics. And one of the things we wanted to get into this week is irrevocable versus revocable trusts. Oh, boy. This is a big one. This is a, this one. Yeah, so. This one's real big. And we get this question a lot, right? Ben and his planning team get this question a lot. You know, I heard on the radio that, you know, the nursing home is going to take my house. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Right. So there's a lot of folks out there scaring. I mean, and that, and that you know, th this can be it's a real anxiety. I mean, to to think that, you know, somehow uh, everything is going to be stripped away yeah. in order to allow someone to, you know, that needs that has no other choice. They need this care. And, and it's a brilliant conversation to have with people, because as we always say, it's not one size fits all. Yeah. It's one size fits one. And a lot of the times when we're talking about an irrevocable trust, and let's talk about what that is, you're giving away everything in your lifetime, and it's irrevocable, which means you can't revoke what you just did. You gave it all away, okay? But that's not suitable for everybody. But there are folks out there with the one size fits all model and uh, running businesses through it, but it's it's um, it's not it's not thoughtful planning. You, 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 each individual is unique, right? Mm -hmm. So they sit down with the planning team and they go through all of what their wishes, hopes, and dreams and aspirations are. And maybe an irrevocable trust makes sense. Maybe deeding away all of your assets into a trust for your benefit, but while other people are managing it. And we talked about trust a lot last week when we were talking about what trusts actually are, but you're placing a lot of trust in that person who's gonna administer everything for you because in essence, you're giving this all away so that you have no assets. Now, compare that to a revocable trust, and this is where we do a majority of our planning, um, whereby you have these buckets, we talk about the buckets, the trust buckets, and you put your assets into those buckets so that they avoid probate. You put them in the buckets, as long as they're contractually in the buckets and they explain all of your hopes, wishes, and it's done validly and legally, then it will avoid the probate and it will be administered pursuant to that contract. But while you're alive, you have access and you can change things and you can modify things, as opposed to an irrevocable trust. Once you you commit to that, right? Once you mm -hmm. sign those documents and you move all of those assets into that type of bucket, you no longer own those. So we used to see that come into play sometimes in our real with our real estate team. So, so it would be time to refinance, and for all intents and purposes, the folks thought they owned the property, right? It's, it's in an estate plan, but it's in a trust. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's in an irrevocable trust. It's okay. in an irrevocable trust, so you can't refinance because you technically don't own it. And, you know, people would say, just pull it out of the trust, put it back in. Well, you can't, you can't do that. Once, it's, once the horse has left the barn, the horse has left the barn. Now, there's an exception to that with reverse mortgages, and we've talked about reverse mortgages a lot. Um, and there's an exception to that, that you can enable um, the, the fulfillment of a reverse mortgage, and you can access the equity in your home with this uh, irrevocable trust. But for all intents and purposes, the money is out of your account. All of your assets are out of your name and you don't have control over them and you're leaving the trust to somebody. Now, again, makes perfect sense for a lot of people. The trust is the huge factor, right? Who is the person that is going to administer that? Who is the institution? Sometimes it's a you know, banking institution or a trust uh, company that does that, but very different and it requires a conversation. And what we like to tell people is, you know, let's th th take a moment and have a no commitment uh, consultation, go through all of it. Maybe an irrevocable trust makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, the, the benefits of a revocable trust in Massachusetts right now are, are, are very important and it's very cost effective to do that. So come on down. You know, let's talk about it. Let's get that plan wrapped up, the, the, the word of the year plan. Let's get it, uh, <laughs> let's check that box and, and move year. forward. Yeah. Yeah. Planning and, as you said, uh, having that conversation. 
Uh, Styles-law.com is the website. You can get links to all sorts of information. Uh, there is uh, There are YouTube videos as well. He's got a great YouTube channel, Mark Styles and his great team at Styles Law. And speaking of conversations, you might want to set one up. Uh, Mark, how do people do that? The best way is to call our office at 781-319-1900. 781-319-1900 and the concierge will introduce you to the estate planning team to go through the online intake that you will um, we ask you to do so that we can get basic information and then it sets up a consultation and, and it, it's really easy and sometimes people get stuck uh, because it is a big deal and um, and we we're very good about having various strategy sessions with them if there's something that's really blocking them mm -hmm. if it's really sticking um, and we can do you know quick 15 minute calls with me and share experiences over the last 20 oh boy 26 <laughs> years of doing this yeah but wow. uh, yeah so the best way is to call the office 781-319-1900 to start the process 7 uh, 781-319-1900 or check out our YouTube videos too these go to our YouTube channel these um, feel good Friday clips go on our YouTube channel as well as other frequently asked questions and videos for those styles-law.com is the website you'll see all the links there if you go to styles-law.com and again get in touch with mark styles and his great team and have these questions answered you know have the conversations get it started sooner yeah all right well mark feel good the weekend is upon us don't forget to change your clocks oh your yes thank you rob all right thank spring you spring ahead because spring ahead i love the daylight later in the day here we are daylight saving spring time. is here hibernation is over yep let's ah. do this all right we'll talk to you next friday sounds good rob thank you folks have a great week